Welcome. Today we're going to be discussing the eDirect feature of student groups. By the end of today's session, you should be able to create a student group, to upload multiple student groups, to, be, to know how to copy student groups, as well as how to create a test session from a student group. A brief overview of student groups. Student groups are created to associate students and teachers together with an eDirect. Through this association, teachers can quickly access their students' information, testing status, and interactive reporting results. Student groups are going to be required for any teacher who is not assigned as a TA to a test session. So those teachers, if they need access to the student responses within interactive reporting, you're going to have to have a student group associated with that TA. Student groups can also be used to quickly assign students to a test session. Detailed directions for student groups can be found in the eDirect user guide, which is posted in eDirect under general information. To manage student groups, first log into eDirect, then choose All Applications and Student Group Management. To create student groups, select the Manage Student Groups tab. Select an administration, district, and school, and then at the bottom of the screen, choose Add Student Group. From there, the Add Student Group window will display. Then you'll need to choose a group name. It's important to choose a group name that's going to easily distinguish one group from another. You also will need to assign a test administrator to tie to that group. Remember, the purpose of student groups is to associate the students within that student group to a specific test administrator. If you've not yet added test administrators to your system, you can also use that Add Test Administrator button. Um, to create a test administrator for this session, for the student group. From there, choose Find Students, and an available list of students within the school will display. You can use the arrows to add or remove students from the student group. When you are finished, click Save, or Save and Add Another to continue adding student groups. To add multiple student groups, select the Upload Student Groups tab. It's important to download the file layout, which is a PDF document that will give an overview of allowable um, entries into the sample file. It's also important to download that sample file, which is going to give you that CSV text file to input your student group data. You'll enter your student group information into the CSV using the student file layout as a guide. The student file layout will indicate what fields are required for each administration. You'll save the CSV to your computer. And from there, you'll use the Browse button within eDirect to find your saved CSV. And you'll click the Upload button to upload it to the eDirect. Once that file has gone through the validation process, you're able to review the status. If the file does contain errors, you're going to need to correct the errors within your CSV and repeat steps 4 and 5 to browse and then upload your new file. If you'd like to reassign a test administrator or copy student groups, those features are allowed through the Manage Student Groups tab. At the bottom of the screen, by selecting to reassign a group, it will allow a test administrator to be changed for a student group. If you would like to have a, the same group of students assigned to multiple test administrators, you'll need to copy the selected student groups, and you'll be able to assign another test administrator to the same group of students. When you copy student groups, you'll also need to add new group names to distinguish between the different student groups. To assign student groups to a test session when you're, can happen within two different ways. First, when you're in that Add Student Groups page, you can select Save and Add to Session when you're actually creating the student group. Your other option is going back to the original Manage Student Groups tab searching for your available student groups, and then you can select that Add Session icon for an existing student group, and you can create test sessions from there. Whichever option you choose to add, assign a student group to a test session, it will bring you to the Add Test Session screen. From there, you'll enter the required information for your test session, which is session name, content area, the assessment, the test administrator, the mode, and the testing window. Because you've already selected that student group to add to the test session, 
only the student groups selected within that student group will display as available students in that column. You can then use the arrows to add or remove the students within that student group into the test session. From there, of course, you can click Save or Save and Add Another. Some additional support can be found in our eDirect User Guide, as well as our Technology User Guide and the Eagle 2.0 User Guide. If you have any questions, you can always reach out following that protocol for district and school staff. Additionally, the DRC customer service line and email are available. And as always, you can email any questions to assessment at la.gov. This concludes our overview of how to access and navigate the Student Groups tab.